Hey everybody, let's talk about taking some smaller images and making them larger. But sometimes we want to do this in bulk. Now traditionally I've just done this kind of one at a time in Photoshop on an image by image basis. But sometimes you go back to images that were taken with an old camera and the pixel dimensions just aren't as big as you would like. Or maybe you just want to put it on a billboard. I don't know. But you can do this now with Topaz Photo AI. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So let's click on the first one, hold the shift key and click on the last one. And I'm just going to do all of these at the same time. So right click and say, edit in Topaz Photo AI. You can go ahead and edit a copy. You can see it making the copies right there. And then we will launch. Now it's going to create a TIFF image, which is going to be very helpful for us. Okay, now this is not a full tutorial on how Topaz Photo AI works. I just want to show you how you can come in here and do this in bulk. So I'm going to say that I want these to be about 5,000 pixels by 5,000. There we go. You can unlock that if you want. Multiply by two, four times, or max it out. Let's see, and you can see that the file size is going to be significantly bigger. So... I'm definitely concerned about what the eyes look like here, as is any wildlife or just this as a drawing. So you can click on the different models here. High fidelity looks a little blurry. I kind of like the graphics. The graphics looks good. All right. So you can see that they're all in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three little dots right here in the corner. I'm going to say apply. And then I'm going to say current settings to all and then click apply. And it will do every single one of them, but I like to just kind of click on it and make sure that, you know, the choices that I made as far as the upscaling, the graphics standard, that they still look good on all of them. So here's a Brittany, just like my little guy. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute too. And check in this one, a little border collie, and let it process. So there we go. So here is before where it's very pixelated and after where it's looking really good. And I'm going to say save these five images. And you can see that it's turning it from a six megabyte file into some something like 60, 70, 80 megabytes, depending on how much detail is in there. And they will all save to Lightroom. No need to import them because you started in Lightroom. You can end in Lightroom. That's just how Lightroom works. And now you've got some really big photos. Back them up, get them off that main computer. Oh my goodness, they're gonna bog you down if you do this a lot, a lot, a lot. And there they are. So now I've got this one and you can see the dimensions are 1024 and this one where the dimensions are 5,000 pixels. So I got a great look in the photo here. These are great. Awesome, aren't they cute? All right, you can find these in my Etsy store, which I will link below. I hope to see you guys again very soon.